filming from Weatherall Park before we set off on a tea trees run. We're up here on the bank. We've got our car parked over there in the car park area. And then this is the uh, drop off area down here. And here is the launching area. And you can see my boat. Obviously no tea trees up here and still no tea trees down here because they're still 2.7 kilometers downstream of here but this is the closest public access to the river so we're just waiting for some mates to show up so I'll just record until they show up and maybe say g'day and then we'll cut to the to the to the uh, live action <laughs> so this is our tea trees run that we've been recording and tea trees are by far the most complicated part of the Avon descent and they require the most training and practice. They change the most out of any part of the river and depending on water level different channels become open, different channels become possible and you really have to know your correct passage at that correct water level. So today the water level is going to be very similar to the last time we went paddling, about 0.6 something actually it's probably about 0 0.60 now whereas last time it was 0.65 I was saying 0.7 in the video because it felt a bit higher but that was 0.65 on the uh, on the gauge though so today it's about 0.60 even though we had some rain last uh, last night it was supposed to be a huge downpour yesterday but it turned out to be a few drops last night uh, the river's exactly the same or lower than before I mean me think that it's actually risen slightly, but I don't think it's risen as much as it had been up a week ago, when I, uh, five, four days ago when I came down on Sunday. So we're going to go down with a couple of other mates today, and hopefully we'll pick 100% the correct channels today. Last time we went down, we picked almost the correct channels the entire way down, but one of the ways we went, uh, we went centre channel after cobblers. Now, in the past, that's been a cool little shortcut, because there's often boat jam at the start of day two because all the boats get let off in, in sets of four, 30 second intervals, it's a very narrow river so a lot of people in their long skis get uh, stuck across the river upside down, swimming etc. Um, so I tried an alternate channel because it's often useful to go around them and that channel did not have enough water at 0.65 so today at 0.6 it's not going to be an option, well not it wasn't an option at 0.65 either really. So today we're going to go down the right hand side uh, with the logs, the logs overhead that we have to duck, which will be fine because it's lower than Sunday. And uh, we're going to go right side all the way until the dead trees. So hopefully we'll get 100% correct this time. We've done three runs through the trees so far. Each one has had a mistake or more. <laughs> And uh, the last run was the first time we got through that uh, that left-hand passage. At the so we're going to do that again, and we're going to go right-hand passage up the others. Right-hand passage pretty much everywhere else, and uh, and we'll see how we go. So, this is the tea trees, and the tea trees are, yeah, day two uh, difficult, but day one long and difficult. So day one finishes in the tea trees and then there's two and a half k's of tea trees in day two which is kind of the worst bit of it um, to start off your day in the morning. So both days have it and in the afternoon you've got the sun coming in your eyes like you might have seen down here at Leatherheads on our previous videos and, uh, and you won't have very good visibility. So we might end it off there uh, and see how we go down the river today. Um, Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.